Soldier, urgency compels us. We must keep the Covenant from getting the Coral Heart. Soldier, urgency impels us. We must keep the Covenant from getting the Coral Heart. Report in, soldier. What brings you to Vivek's antlers? Walks in ash, eh? A wise lizard, or so the lads say. Well, you're welcome here. The captain has a lot in his trencher, and we're not sure how to get it all down. Welcome to the war. We're losing ground to Covenant Raiders. If we don't hold the line here, they'll push us back to Ebonheart and take all of Zabamat. Alexandra Canell leads a force that outnumbers us five to one. If the Drake hadn't ambushed both of us, she'd have wiped us out. We must deal with the Drake. Then we'll stop Canell from getting the Coral Heart. Lieutenant Garlin believes Canell can use it to control a brother of strife. Sings with Reed would know more. As for Garlin, the Covenant caught her. Here's what I need from you. Look for survivors in the mud mounds. Rescue Garlin. Oh, and don't get killed. Luck to you. I'll see if we can hold this line in case you return. I mean, until you return. Burying them in mounds of muck. They'll hack you up with those claws or knock you out with bile. Then they'll bury you in mud. I don't know why they do it and I don't care. I want it stopped. Sings with Reed, that Argonian who's advising Lieutenant Garlin, thinks the Coral summoned the Dreg to defend itself. Fact is, we were losing when the Dreg showed up and altered the battle. Now we need to preserve the few troops we have. I was talking about the other one. Sadal, the beast sealed away in tormented spire. Tarnvil was mistaken to free that... thing from Ash Mountain. Imagine such a creature controlled by the Covenant and loosed on Ebonheart. Do I look like an Archmage? Or even an Argonian mud witch? I have no idea. I came here to stop the damned daggers, and that's what I'll do. Won't somebody come? Quietly, the enemy abounds. What do you seek? Long ago, a magical artifact imprisoned Sadal, the brother of strife. That artifact's become the heart of the coral. That's what the Covenant is after. Alexandra Connell wants it, and she is without mercy. Just so. The Brothers of Strife are destruction incarnate, flaming fury crushing all in their path. They cannot be controlled or channeled, only imprisoned. Ebonheart is near, and Connell would like it burned to the ground. We have to stop her. The Coral summoned Dreg to defend itself. The Coral thinks and reasons. We must ally ourselves with it, if we show it we're peaceful, it will turn the dread against our enemies. I'm still working on how to do that. I'm free, thanks to you. I owe you my life.
The Covenant have Garlin. She's on their ship. Help her, please. Praise Vivek, and Allah. I knew someone would come to free me. Vivek wouldn't allow his priestess to suffer like this. He sent you, didn't he? Then help me complete my task. Here we defeated the Akaviri. Vivek flooded the plain. His children breathed water while the Akaviri drowned. Yet some who died cannot rest. We must consecrate their bones. Do not disparage, youth. These are Vivek's children. They died for Morrowind and for him. We must provide for their rest. Anoint any remains you find with a sacred oil. That will soothe their spirits. The dead depend on you. You must consecrate them. You don't look to be Daggerfall Covenant, and you're not one of ours. Who are you? Thank the three. I thought I was going to die in here. There's a powerful mage named Alexandra Connell leading these soldiers. She knows how to enter the Heart Chamber. She ripped the knowledge right out of my head. I'll rally my soldiers and lead them to the Coral Heart Chamber. She must be inside. Have you seen my aide, Sings with Reed? She knows more about the Coral than anyone. She must have some kind of plan. Argonians, always the unexpected. If I know Reed, she's already lurking near the Covenant camp. Look for her nearby. If you can find her, bring her to the Coral Heart Chamber. Then we can finish this. Legions of Akaviri invaded our shore. They came, killing and burning them, though we never knew why.
You've been in the belly of the Covenant's beast. Tell me, is Lieutenant Gollin safe? Oh, my heart is at ease. I've decided how to contact the Coral. This won't be easy. The Coral Heart could unleash a Brother of Strife, but simply taking the heart would kill it. Ill winds are blowing, friend. A Coral summoned the Dreg. If I can show the Coral we're friendly, it may aid us by turning the Dreg against the Covenant. Time is precious. If I'm to succeed, I'll need your help. These are my eggs, the fruit of my tree. My roots must join with the Coral for us to be truly of one mind. Place my eggs at the three large clusters of coral around the antlers, then meet me in the heart chamber. You think to tame the coral? I'll see you dead. Die, Akaviri! Die! The waters took friend and foe alike. The tides rolled in, crushing all in their path. The Akaviri were defeated, but at what cost? weakens. I feel it. The coral speaks to me. I'll meet you in its heart. Don't stop me. The Coral Heart is mine. My friend, can you hear me? The coral is dying. The Breton stole its heart. The dregs serve us now, but it's not enough. Find me at the heart. Alexandra stands now inside the coral. She has stolen its heart, and it dies a slow death. We are joined, and I feel its pain as I feel my own. I fear touching the mind of the coral is not enough. We must merge body and soul. Alexandra has ripped the heart out of the coral. It may only live if it finds another one. I will not lie. 
I'm scared of what's to come. But I'm glad that you and Galen are here with me. Keep the heart safe. Goodbye. We will. Goodbye, old friend. You're too late. The heart is mine. Not for long. You won't burn, then freeze. Have a taste of lightning. Why won't you die? Take our heart. Keep it safe. The Coral and I can now live without it. With the drag on our side, the Covenant is out of luck. Sings with Reed saw to that. She's joined with the Coral now, and I won't let either one come to harm. The heart is yours, yet the Coral lives. Once I saw it was dying, I had no choice but to merge myself with the Coral. We are one now. One tree with the same roots. Did you find the bones and bless them? Vivek's children can rest now. I feel it in my bones. You are kind to perform this service for the heroes of the past. Vivek, we thank them for our freedom today. No foe can stand against the three. One day I will visit the tribunal temple in Deshan. I will hear the word of Vivek from his own lips. The Akaviri were invaders from across the sea, fierce snake men and all manner of monsters. We faced them here on these plains, but they overwhelmed us. Yet we fought and died and held until Vivek himself came and put an end to it. Vivek brought water to cleanse the land. His children breathed the holy water while the Akaviri drowned. It was a great victory for Morrowind. Rumors say the Akaviri came here looking for an ancient relic. What it is, I do not know. One who does not know the tribunal lives in a dark world. Three living gods, Vivek, Amalexia, and Sothasil, bless Morrowind and guide us in these troubling times. Vivek is the wisest of living gods. We are scarcely worthy to look upon him. Keep breathing. Well, you're a warm hut in a blizzard. What news? Could you keep that coral heart out of the Covenant's hands? Then Ebonheart is saved. We are once again in your debt. Maybe we'll make you the new Thane of Whiterun. After all, they'll take anyone. I'll keep the heart safe. This Brother of Strife must remain bound. The Brothers of Strife are too dangerous. I'll keep this from everyone who might want to use it. Even Tanvor. You've done well here. We could use more like you. 
In fact, we could use more like you at Fort Virak. The Daggerfall Covenant has seized it. It's a vital link between Stone Falls and the Rift. With Fort Virak held by the enemy, we're cut off from supplies. Head up there and report to Sergeant Kioring. I'll be right behind you. It's not safe here. Run, friend. Get out of here before the Covenant soldiers come back. I'm staying put, so I can direct other survivors to safety. But if I see another dagger uniform, I'm leaving. They came up the road from the east, killing and looting as they went. A few of us managed to escape. I wish I knew what happened to Othris and her family. Salu Othris is our overseer. Her husband, Garvis, was organizing a defense of the stables. I didn't see where the matriarch and her daughter went, but her boys headed for the pools. Poor folks. They were a good sort. For field masters, that is. I'd start with the sons, Daedris and Mavis. The last I saw, they were running for the sulfur pools. It's dangerous in there. The water boils, and wild shulk come up from underground. Maybe Vec guide your steps, traveler. Mining sulfur, of course. We get it from the pools. Alchemists pay a premium for it. They use it in potions, but they don't want to gather it themselves. Take a deep breath. It smells like rotten eggs here, night and day. It gets in your clothes and your hair. Most alchemists are just too proper to put up with the smell. Can't blame them. Anything valuable in there? The Shulk had me trapped up here like Nick's hounds hunting a lizard. Thank Vivek the brutes were too stupid to try going around the rock. They just stood down there and snapped at my feet. I'm sure going to try. Please, find my brother, Dedrus. The Covenant soldiers were hot on his heels.
The soldiers are gone? Thank our Malexia! I thought no one would come before they got tired of taunting me. They kept talking about what they do with their knives. We got split up. The last I saw Drathyra, she and Mother were just ahead of the invaders. There's a cave at the edge of the pools. Drathi, Mevis and I used to play there. I'll bet that's where they went. Yes, now that those soldiers are gone, I'm going to make a run for it. Wish me luck. Why? Why did they do this? He stabbed her. Merciful Three, he stabbed her. Why did he do that? We did nothing to threaten them. The captain of the Covenant soldiers. His blade was poisoned. I can already see the edges of Mother's wound blackening. I must be calm. I can't lose my wits like some rattle-brained Altma. He said he had an herbal antidote. He actually waved the bottle in my face. He said I could have it if I, well, entertained him and all his men. I spat in his face. He went south to our guar barns, said he wanted to hear the beast scream. We keep grief brandy in the storage shed there. Light some on fire. I bet that'll get his attention. Just getting started. What's going on out here? You're back. Do you have the antidote? I think so. Please, give me the bottle. The three, bless you. Mother, everything's gonna be fine now. Yes, you got here in time. She's resting now. I'll help Mother make her way to the stead. We'll see you there. And thank you. get them himself. It was chaos. Pure chaos. The Covenant attack. The worst part was the Guar. They smelled our blood and stampeded. Now they're out here in the sulfur pools. Some drowned in the waters. Poor stupid things. Put a harness on them. Say a few calm words. They're like children or Breton slaves. I've only got one harness left. 
The rest got scattered in the attack, but I bet you can find them. When you're done, speak to Jinae. A fine job. Most of the herd has come home. The Othris use these animals to haul carts of sulfur to market, but they don't care about them like I do. Whether or not you care about the Guar, you've helped them. And me, I think I owe you this. I hope this war with the Covenant ends soon. Preferably with us slaying their men, selling their women and children into slavery, burning their towns and salting their fields. Those ruthless barbarians deserve no better. Will this work never end? Thank you for helping me save my mother. I'm sorry I panicked. It won't happen again. There's more steel in me than even my father suspects. Drathyra tells me your actions saved my wife from a painful death. I'm in your debt, and I honor my debts. That's thanks to you. As I said, I honor my debts, but until we drive the Covenant from Stonefalls, this is all I can offer. Now I must speak with Dedrus. He smells like he dishonored himself. This work never ends. I had to change my breeches before I came home. Don't tell my father. I hate relying on others. 
But I owe you my life. I will not forget that. If it wasn't for you and Drathyra, I'd be ashes in our ancestral hearth. Spiders. Damn the gods, why is it always spiders? Ah! Oh! Oh! You're not who I thought you were. I'd clear out, stranger. Spiders in this cave. Lots and lots of spiders. I'll live. One of the spiders got a piece of me, and the venom's doing some strange... Wow, my blood tastes really green right now. Anyway, we have reports of goblins attacking the locals out here. They normally live in this filthy hole. Only dead ones. It's strange. The little bastards normally have their bugs on a short leash. Something's happened to them. I probably shouldn't go back in there. Will you look around inside? Find what I couldn't? Uh, good. Good. I think I'll have a sit down out here. The wind seems very gooey, doesn't it? Very squishy. Uh... Oh yes, yes. Uh, I, I think so. Is it normal for your guts to move when you're standing still? Or your eyeballs to crawl up inside your head? Right, I'm fine. Fine. Oh, they managed to take some of their spiders and attack a hold here in Stone Falls. One of the only proud Nord households in the Ashlands. And it comes under attack from beasts. Bah!
Ah, you're back. Sorry about earlier. I'm feeling better already. What news from the spider hole? Those crafty bastards. Use the beastmen's own bugs to drive them out of the caves. Then the beasties raise havoc with the civilians. Crafted milk-drinking sots they are. Good work. I'll be sure the General sees this. How do you keep getting stronger? It's amazing. Tell me the secret. Have a care, Traveler. My Lord Rogar's fields are overrun with hideous goblins and spiders. Whatever business you have here, best come back another day. You must come of spirited stock. If you truly wish to help, speak to Rogar up at the manor house. Shores bones. We need more like you at the hold. We've already lost too many to the goblins. These once fertile lands have been reduced to ash and dust. My fair Edwina must be ashamed of me. I am a poor protector. The goblins have slaughtered many of my men. Even my eldest son has been sent to his funeral pyre. Now my youngest son, Bjorik, has gone missing. Trolls, blood traveler. These little vermin are a plague on us. My middle son, Gar, is leading the search for Bjorik west of the hall. Go help him find his missing brother and end the nightmare that has befallen my household. Speak to my son, Gar, outside the manor house. Offer to help find Bjorik. I couldn't bear to lose another son. I was wounded in battle during the Akaviri invasion of Stone Falls, years ago. A sweet soul named Edwina nursed me back to health. Though her family disowned her, we were married a few years later. She has given much for our love. Many of these milk drinkers consider it heresy for a dark elf to marry one of another race. As if the three care who we love and live for. Despite the hatred, Edwina and I have stood strong. Our love and land has endured. 
Until now. Those beasts and their bugs lair in the mountains north of here. They scuttle along the coast, catching fish and squatting in caves. Then the Covenant soldiers came to Stonefalls. By the three, you'll pay for that. They used the caves along the coasts as supply drops for landing troops. They drove the goblins from their caves and killed their spider queens. Now the animals are searching for new lands. They're trying to take our home! I've never seen Hrogar so drawn down by sorrow. It pains me. I was a battlefield healer, supporting the warriors at the Akaviri front. Hrogar took a grievous wound from one of the Akaviri's monstrous beasts. As I cared for him, I fell in love with him. We've been together ever since. Let's not have any trouble. Watch out, Traveler. Trolls, bones, the goblins could be upon us any moment. I won't go down easy. These goblins are merciless, stranger. They don't feel pity or remorse or fear. And they won't stop until they're killed. You want to help? Get out there and kill some of those stinking gobs. Bjorek is nearby. I heard him call my name. If you can distract the gobs, I think I can get to him. Meet me here when you're done. Your attack on those vermin was heroic. You made them regret the day they left their stinking dens. We're in trouble. Your diversion worked, and Gar went looking for his younger brother. That's the good news. The bad news is the goblins are gathering for a final attack on the hold. Quickly, get to Hrogar and warn him. What news of my sons? Has Bjorik returned? Warriors, to me. Protect the hall and safeguard the innocents. Defend the hold! Defend the hall! Slay the goblins! Scatter! Kill them all! They leave 
leader comes, take him down! Iskramor! We've won the day! Well? Ugh! Shaw's bones! You have to help! Ugh! Miserable gobs! They're missing! We found Bjorik. We were escorting him home when we were ambushed. The goblins must have taken them both. Ugh! The spiders encased their prey in cocoons. If Bjorik and Gar were taken... You'll probably find them trapped in one of those silken prisons. You'll find spider cocoons along the beach east of the manor house. Look there. Show no mercy to these craven goblins and their spider pets. The goblins have captured Gar. They took him into a cave near the beach. Kill the Goblin Warlord and the Spider Queen while we have the chance. Follow me! In the heart of the cave, friend. Now is the time to strike. What do you say? Think we're mighty enough to take on the Goblin Warlord and his Spider Queen? Crush the eggs! Crush them! That will draw out the ugly Spider Queen and her Goblin ally. Sovngarde awaits! We'll kill these beasts and send the Goblin Horde to the pits! Iskramor! I'll watch your back, while you crush spider eggs. Weapons out. Here they come. For Bjork! For Frogar! For Isgramor! Meet you at the hall. Without your help, I'd never have defeated the Goblin Chief and his Spider Queen. I'm going to collect the Gob's head as a trophy for my father. Head back to the manor house and give my father the good news. I'll meet you when I'm done.
The attacks are faltering. You've driven the goblins back. Shores, bones, traveler. Without your help, we'd be attending my son's funeral instead of celebrating a victory over the goblins. I'll never forget how you helped to defend my hold. You've acquitted yourself honorably. Father, I brought the head Without your help, I would have been food for baby spiders. You start trouble, I'll finish it. 